favorite part, but it must be done. I am so excited for this. Like, can you feel my excitement? I feel very self conscious. Why? <laughs> Big burrito. I forgot what I ordered from Sticker App. <gasps> it's my next month's Patreon reward. It's a little drawing of a chipmunk, but it's a gardener chipmunk. That's what makes it special. I made these a little bigger because I kind of wanted to do like bigger stickers. I thought it would look cute. Goose and sticker. Oh yeah, I named him Goose because of that TikTok meme where it's like, Oh yeah, you silly goose. You're so silly. Does anyone know that one? Like, I can't stop. That's the one meme that lives in my brain rent-free right now. And I decided to name the chipmunk Goose. And I named the apple that Paloma gave me Silly. So it's Silly Goose. That's how I name things. I got 59 extra stickers. They gave me 59 extras and I ordered 300 of them. Holy... Good morning! I am super excited. Today is Monday and I've never been more excited for Monday. This whole week I'm gonna be focusing on like getting my shop back open. Everything to do with shop stuff that I've been holding off because I was too busy with client work but now that everything's done I'm feeling super relaxed. I'm not stressed anymore and I'm just ready to open up my shop, have my shop update and make cute things for my next shop update in like the next few months coming. I have to deal with this. I ordered a bunch of eco enclosed stuff and I just have to organize that. I also have to trim a lot of prints, do inventory. Let's do that. While I was unpacking all of the packing supplies, I had this like sudden memory of this comment that I received on one of my old videos. It was my first studio makeover video and that was when I was still living with my parents and little did I know I would be moving out to Vegas like a few weeks after I finished filming that video. But it reminded me of a comment that said like, I wonder if Tiffany knew that this IKEA cart would be transformed into like a storage unit for her packing supplies for her Etsy shop and the answer to that is no, I did not know that this was gonna be turned into a packing supplies cart. Before it was only filled with paintbrushes, paints and all that stuff and now it's kind of evolved into this which makes me think of like a lot of fond memories of like this cart and how it's traveled with me from Cali all the way to here and like, I just felt very um, sentimental all of a sudden. Everything has been put in there. I have my flat mailers and my padded mailers from Eco and Clothes. All the leftover stuff that doesn't fit in there. Um, I'm gonna just have to shove it under my desk for now. And these are my printed envelopes that I put in this little cubby down here. 
These are my thank you cards. I just have a bunch of them in here. I've been giving a lot of thought to what I want to potentially do for my business going forward. I think recently I've been really kind of stressing over, I guess, what's to come. And I usually don't think too much about what I want to do in the future. I kind of feel like I'm just kind of riding along with the wave and just like doing whatever I want. But I think I do have to kind of start thinking about a little bit more structure um, so I'm not constantly like burning out and overbooking myself with a lot of things. This whole conversation kind of sparked in my head a while ago when I started realizing that I was taking on a lot of client work and I thought I would be happy but I felt like when I was doing client work I wasn't really doing it because I wanted to do it, but more so because I was chasing the money and like the fear of missing out. Oh, if I don't take this client work, like what if it leads me to all these other opportunities? But in reality, I didn't really want to take that client work in the first place. And I think every single time I start doing client work like that, I immediately want to do my shop stuff. I want to make bigger products. I have all these ideas that I want to do, but I never managed to put aside the time to actually do it. I guess now it's more of like thinking, um, okay, well now I know I kind of want to work more on myself, my YouTube channel, my shop, and building that brand for myself. And that's something I want to strive for at this moment. So I guess it's like also time to start thinking about like, do I want to move into a bigger space next month? Um, do I want to possibly run a studio space and have like a dedicated area just for working and have like a home? I don't know. It's just like, cause I do like the space I'm in right now, but I feel like the more I do shop updates and the more I like work on my shop, the bigger it becomes and the more stuff I need to have this shop run. And it's not as efficient when I have to kind of like rearrange a lot of things. Like for example, when I pack my orders during a shop update, I always have to like have two tables out or else it's like really inconvenient, but it doesn't really work with the layout of my apartment because I also want to make my apartment a place for living and not just working. So yeah, there's like those thoughts going on in my mind and I just wanted to put that out there. I've been thinking about moving to maybe like a house with like more room so I have more storage for everything so that I can make plushies and all these big things that I have in my mind. I want to make big things and I always feel like if I send those things to my apartment, like I can't send 500 plushies to my apartment door. I feel like that would be not fun, you know? Like I see all of these really cool artists making all these things, but like their literal like garage is just full of plushies and I'm like, I can't, I don't have that much space in my apartment for that. I really wanted to make plushies though. Should I just try? My apartment might be full of plushies for a bit. Maybe I just make really tiny ones, like that big. If I order 500 of those, that'll be like six boxes. But I just don't want to be held back, you know? I feel kind of held back in this space. But I really like living here. Okay, my internal dialogue is just like fighting with itself now. I feel like I have a lot of thoughts in my brain right now. And when that usually happens, I like to grab a journal and just physically write out what I want to do or like my plans for maybe the next month because I do love Notion, but I feel like for scrambled thoughts, I always hand write things because I just want that process of like crossing things off and like, you know, moving things around on paper. And then I translate that into like digital format. I want to actually try to move my shop off of Etsy soon and I want to make a lot of new things but I'll do it after this shop update so it'll be my main focus in April to like build that shop. I have to do a lot of things so I'm gonna just like take some time and brainstorm in here. My handwriting just gets like messier and messier over the years.
Oh, why did I crack both of them? Hello, I am finally done. Um, I was just packaging all the acrylic charms in these little baggies. This looks really bland, so I decided to print out like little doodles of each keychain and what they are so that I kind of know like what I'm packing. I think this is going to be my last task for today because I'm kind of tired and I didn't know this was going to take so long. I kind of got distracted. I was talking to some friends and didn't really work that fast, but that's okay. That's fine. The condones murder, and hopefully you guys know that by watching this channel that I have never been like, that's a good reason. And so with that being said, so it was her that was calling into the Jenny Jones show, so we're gonna go up there, it's gonna be, and we're gonna get married. So he, he was, actually thought it was gonna be her. Yes, he um, he very strongly thought it was gonna stage with Donna, his like wing woman, and Jonathan is in the back, and he can't hear anything. He's not on the stage. He just... They're finally here to fix the hole in my ceiling. Look at it. Okay, I would like to just tell you a little story of what just happened, but okay, just imagine me. I'm like, la 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 la, working on my Patreon shop orders, and I'm just like, Okay, let's try this again while I wait in the drive-thru for food. So I just want you to imagine my horror when the guy fixing the hole right above my sink is suddenly like touching my dirty dishes and like I hear the water on and I'm like, is he washing my dishes or like what's happening right now? Because I am... Okay, it, I mean, you guys all know I used to not wash my dishes for like a whole week straight um i'm getting better at it i wash it like every two days now which is still kind of gross but at least it's not like sitting there for a whole week but when i heard him touching my dishes i'm like oh my god i hope he's not like doing anything to the dishes and it just sounded like he was washing them and i just got like really horrified in that moment and now i'm getting some food because i didn't have time to cook since they're fixing my ceiling so that's my excuse for buying a burger right now it's time to count inventory for everything my least favorite part but it must be done These are the K 
keychains that I'm restocking. These ones came out a little bit more white compared to the last ones. I think the last one I had was more of like a beige background. Now I have to count these. I usually only count the bigger products. So pretty much everything that's not a sticker. Um, so like magnets, lanyards, other stuff like that, prints. And for stickers, I only count the ones that look like there's not enough. So for example, like I only have like this tiny stack of the sour sticker, um, the juice box one. So I'm gonna count those because I didn't order a restock for these. But I usually do inventory for stickers when I first buy them and usually when they're like this low just so that i don't sell more than i have yay love counting stickers my favorite thing in the whole wide world sticker of all time. I just, this is just my favorite sticker. I've just always loved this sticker. Wait, why is he just sitting there though? I really like his freckle. He's like a he's like a movie star. Oh. oh where are you going? Vicky, if you opened your mouth right when he walked away, he would have been walking into your mouth. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Our shifts in anxiety start to drive requests and people come and respond to those requests and hopefully have a lot to do and the reason i say hopefully is that we've all heard presumably about these cases of neglect I think my Patreon cards are here, and I also think my furry little peach t-shirt is here as well. I ordered 300 for April. It's a little chipmunk. He's a gardener, and he has his little botanical notebook with his scissors and backpack. And these are his flower prints. And now I'm really excited for this, because this one, I think, is my t-shirt from... Australia. <gasps> oh my god, it is. Wait. 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 <gasps> oh my god. Look at this thank you card. Oh my god, the puffy came out super cute. <gasps> yes! I am so excited for this. Like, can you feel my excitement? I cannot wait to wear this. And like the front has the little bad apple. Oh my god. I am so excited for this. I'm just squishing your head. <laughs> this is Myron. Myron. Myron, yeah. I keep calling you Myron. I know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I see what's the problem. It's just Wait, because I call you Mare. Yeah. But then when I call your first name, I see Myron. Yeah. Wait, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay. Yeah, I, I will try to be better. I am so bad. I am looking at a bunch of old originals and I wanted to sell them because a lot of people told me to sell them. So like, I'm gonna do that. But then I got the great idea of buying frames and like painting on them and selling them as like a framed piece. Um, so it feels more official, 
but that means I can only sell three pieces because I only bought three frames. I'm gonna I'm gonna shop for more frames, hopefully thrift some in the future. I feel very self-conscious. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I I wonder why. <laughs> ah, screaming. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna I have to trim most of these pieces because they're too big, which means I'm gonna have to cut off the edges of this one. Which I think is fine because I think it still looks okay. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Oh god, this is so scary. Painting frames. I finally finished them. This was my goal for today, which was to paint all three of these frames to match the original artwork inside. And I'm gonna list these three up. I do have other ones that I'm planning on like finishing and just listing up on my shop as well. Some of them I'm keeping for myself like this one because this is one of my all time favorite portraits of myself, I guess. These, I'll try to release it in the future, but I'll just do three for now because my hands are in pain from painting this. Good night. Good morning. Today I'm wearing everything Apple. Today is photo day and I don't know why, but it's kind of gloomy today. So it's, it's a little bit hard to take photos of my products and hoping the light comes out. It's already 10.22. I thought 10.22 was bright, or maybe because of daylight savings, it's kind of dark now. By the way, I started taking photos on this camera. I think some people are wondering what this camera is. This is the Canon EOS M50. It's like the, I guess, the vlogger camera. But I've been using this for taking my Instagram photos lately, but I still edit my pictures on my phone. Those pictures are gonna end up on the phone, so it's best to just edit on the same device that you're viewing it on. Also, this is the Rode microphone with the fuzzies, and this is the Joby Gorillapod. I don't really recommend this tripod. It's not that great, but like I paid $30 for it, so I might as well use it. If you're looking for like a camera for vlogging or just like basic photography, but used on Macari or something. It's not, this isn't an ad. I just shop on Macari a lot. I just got hit with some stress. So let's, let's breathe together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. You got this. Let's, let's not be stressed and let's be happy. The girls at Rubio's were so sweet. They were like complimenting me and I felt really cute today. So I'm out of breath because I just walked upstairs. I'm gonna eat now. My burrito is cold. <laughs> Big burrito. 
finally finished everything for my shop update. Now I just have to wait for my shop update. I was just working on my Instagram post, so I put like little decorations on top of the pictures I took. All I have to do is wait till Saturday. Right now it's Thursday, so I have my whole Friday. I've forgotten the feeling of opening shop again because I feel like the last time I had like a proper shop update felt like January. I could be wrong. My sense of time is always warped. I'll see you on Saturday. So it's Saturday and I thought I would have a bigger reaction to the shop update like I usually do, but I feel like I just sat there and like looked really nervous for like 10 minutes. And that was it because i pretty much pre-scheduled all my posts to go live at 9 a.m exactly so i didn't really have to do anything which felt really nice i feel really like stress-free and yeah i'm gonna not look at my shop and i'll check back in like maybe an hour but i'm gonna just relax right now and not think about it and i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you next week Bye!